Hey everybody, Jake here with Jake Wu Market Research. To go over the supply and demand curve, looking at price and quantity. As you can see here, price is on the y-axis, quantity is on the x-axis. You can see here, price is increasing as we move up, quantity is increasing as we move to the right. And so what you can see here is we have D1 and S1, which stand for the original supply and demand curves. Now what happens when we see D2 here is essentially demand decreasing relative to supply. You can see it shifting along the supply curve to the downside. And essentially this uh, shows here as we go to D2, you can see quantity E1 goes to quantity E2. And essentially you can see we're moving back on quantity. So that means quantity is decreasing on the demand side of things. Supply though, there is no shift in that curve. So you can see this is the original supply. So what this is showing us is demand can actually decrease and supply can remain constant, but we can still get a decrease in price. So you can see here PE1 is our original equilibrium price. As the demand curve shifts to the left, you can see PE2 is the new equilibrium price. So we are lower on the supply curve, but the demand curve has shifted and that's how we get this lower price. So this is a great representation of showing you guys that you don't have to have increased selling in order for price to drop. You simply just need relative demand to drop compared to your original supply curve and that will actually drop price without having to increase uh, supply. So hopefully this video helps. It's a little bit into economics, but really economic forces are really driving price in the markets and that's the main thing that's moving the market. So hopefully this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know and thanks for watching.